So in the comments to my Seagate Free Agent GoFlex Ultra Portable Drive unboxing and first look, I actually had someone ask me a very interesting question. And while I don't always reply to comments and messages, I do make a point of trying to read them. They said, okay, well, you've got just a SATA interface at the back of this external hard drive. So what would prevent you from using these modular Seagate cables uh, which are very nice and very convenient with just any old drive. So I said, well, gee, I don't know, why not? Um, now, while they may not work with desktop drives due to the power requirements, and this may sound very, very strange, but I actually had an SSD lying around, but not a single desktop drive um, at home here. So I've already tried this, but I'm just going to demonstrate for the sake of... Uh, for the sake of demonstration. So you go ahead and just plug it into the back of any old two and a half inch drive. Fits right in there real nice, the light goes on. And then the computer detects local disk E. And if I can find my mouse, then I'd be able to show you this. Oh, I went and hit that stupid button. Hold on, yeah, there we go. Back to auto, excellent. Okay, so here you can access local disk E and we can do a quick, you know what? Why don't we do a quick speed test? Okay, so big files. Uh, you know what, let's, yeah, let's do the big files test. So I'm going to drag this over to my desktop and I'll let you guys time it because, you know, YouTube. Oh man, this is going to take a while. Okay, well you can see our transfer speed is around 30 megs per second. Um, which is pretty typical for USB 2.0 and I hope I'm able to find something to talk about here. Um, I could show you the cats. Okay, here, what, okay, while, while this is running, I'm just going to... Hold on, I'm gonna go uh, go to the bathroom where I keep all of the cat toys. Hold on a second. I'm gonna get their favorite toy here. Which oh, see, here they come running. They know they know what I have. Hey guys, you like this one, don't you? Oh, oh, he's got it already. Got their feather, which is very exciting for them. They like to fight it. And let's see if the uh, file transfer is done it is not so okay i'm gonna let you guys see the state of disrepair that my floor is in right now i've been doing unboxings and the thing about unboxing is you end up with a lot of boxes and i don't really know what to do with them all all the time oh man wow they're fast today hey guys. oh it fell apart oh their toy broke this is a disaster hey now he's eating it hey get off that get get, get off that no Give me that. Give, give me. Ah, he got me. Hey, don't growl at me. Give me that. <laughs> Rotten things. Okay, here we go. File transfer is done. Okay, so it took approximately that long. So what I also discovered is that... Yeah, whatever. Oh, for... Don't come up on my... <laughs> Get back here. Enough out of you. <laughs> These guys are just ridiculous. Okay, put that in my pocket. Hi, rotten cat. Okay, come with me. Okay, come here. There we go. <sighs> Got the cat. Okay, so now, why don't we take that drive and go plug it into the USB 3 version, which I have plugged into a test PC. All right, so unplug that. <laughs> And I hit that stupid button again that makes it so it doesn't... Yeah, here we go. Okay, so the USB 3.0 version is plugged into a test PC here, which supports USB 3.0. My computer actually does not support USB 3.0. It is a little bit older than that. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. There we go. It will be hopefully perfectly well supported. There we go. It's detected already. We open it up and then why don't we do a quick speed test here and I'm hopefully going to be actually there for the, uh, the conclusion of it this time. But I think the general point should be that it goes much faster. This is USB 3.0 so we are seeing much, much higher transfer speeds. Oh, as high as a mouse cursor megabytes per second. Uh, no, we're seeing up to about 110 to 120 megabytes per second. So the total transfer is going to take probably about 10, 15 seconds. So much faster than USB 2.0 if you're actually trying to move around substantial amounts of data. In fact, this may even be bottlenecked by the Vertex One 120 gig hard drive that I'm using in the test PC. So that is done just now when I took the camera away again. So thank you for checking out this sort of follow-up to the free agent... 
uh, what is it called? Free Agent Go Flex. And so it looks like all those cables can actually be used with other two and a half inch drives just as easily as they can be used with the Free Agent Go Flex itself.